My channel today I have a Pennywise haul for y'all and when we purchased these things a little while ago and I was like you know what let me get it out of the way today's emancipation day so I finally have some time I have on my little um African outfit because we're about to head out I'm doing a vlog but I don't really know if I will even post the vlog because we're not really doing much um it will have to be like a few days in my life for it to actually be something but I have a Pennywise haul for y'all and I honestly do not know if I have the receipt, but if I do, of course, the prices will be on the screen. So I'm just gonna do it in like a random order. It's not a big haul either. Like, literally, just got a few stuff. We're gonna start off with this. It's a Vico Turmeric Vanishing Cream with Sandalwood. You all will know. Well, if it is, you don't know. If you didn't watch my vlog, I fell like a few months ago. Was it a few months ago? Yeah, it was in May, I think. So yeah, and. Um, it has healed, but it has healed with like a black, like a dark spot, obviously. So I bought this Vico to try to see if it will fade it. It's not terrible, but I still want to see if I could like lighten it a little bit. You know, lighten the little spot where that is bruised. So, or that was bruised. So yeah, I got the Vico. I was like, let me just try it. So I used it once already, but I do you think about this? I do really like it. Has a very strong turmeric scent i would say and i guess on the good scent so like i don't want to use it when i'm going out but i also don't want to use it when i'm going to sleep because it's very strong and i tried it once and it was just like too strong for me so i have to find a time when i'm home and i'm not doing anything which i had some days and i wasn't doing anything but i didn't remember it so yeah to see about that but anyhow moving on to the next thing we had to get a hand soap um we have been using baton body was and i have one more left but i don't want to use that till like christmas so we just got this lucky white pearls hand soap and i save my bath and body works you'll see it right yeah i saved my bath and body works uh, foam pump so that i could refill it with like a regular soap um and i'll get the foam like yeah I don't know if you all ever did that, but if it is, you ever bought like a foam hand soap thing and save it. And sometimes you just have to mix like a little water, which is depending on the consistency of the other soap that you're buying. Um, because if you watch Bath and Body Works, hand soap is very thin. It, like it's very, like you literally, it's thin. Like this is a little bit thicker. So I might have to add like a little bit of water just to get it to foam properly. Or maybe not, we'll see, but I always like to reuse my foam, so yeah. Then we got this Life Boy, and I think we bought two packs. Oh no, yeah, we use, we used from it already. I can't remember how much it came with all together, but I still have it for the whole because we have three. I think it's four it came with just a normal soap, 12 hour freshness. This one is I'm seeing a lemon, so yeah, Dari decided to buy this one. Usually, I let him choose out whatever bathing soap that we use so he bought the life boy and we have another life boy as well this one is the neem and aloe vera um life boy so we just got these two and as i said i think it comes with four in every pack but i'm actually not certain and of course i had to purchase or repurchase um my soft and silky gel as i tell you all like a lot of times when i go in pennywise is it pennywise i remember that i don't usually actually know it's pennywise strength team all i never get it but this time i was blessed and i was able to repurchase it so i have the soft and silky extra whole gel aloe vera now please be mindful because there's also a soft and silky gel that looks like this but it is the curl activator i got mixed up with that already and i was actually helping a woman when i went in pennywise she was looking like somebody on the phone was trying to tell her we're soft and silky gel but she was looking at the curl activator and she was like no like she's not seeing extra hole or something i can't even remember what she was saying and i had to direct her to where this one is because let me tell you if it is your one if it is you make a mistake and buy the curl activator and you really want it for like the hole it's not going to do anything for your hair 
So, as much as I rave about it, please be very careful when you are purchasing it not to buy the curl activator and buy the one that says extra hole. Screenshot this because this is the one that you need, not the curl activator. The curl activator is thin, it has like a more water base and it just does not, it will not, well at least for my hair texture, it will not hold on anything. So just bear that in mind and buy the correct one, please you all. So next, we have um, some shavers. I repurchased the big sensitive shaver. I always buy this one. Like I know people buy like real brand name ones and like bougie ones. It don't matter that. Like I, my skin is not that sensitive to the point that I have to be careful what I use. I don't get razor bumps and all them kind of thing. So I just buy the basic big sensitive shaver. Other than that, we buy the um the femme hair removal cream but I don't really use that uh, like I don't use it as much as I would just like pull this and use it because I have a whole routine when you're using that like with this you just take one you do what you have to do done so yeah next of course we repurchased the box a box of Panadol Ultra so yeah must have these you know ready for them now boy and then Dario I wasn't going to purchase any but Dario was like um I have like two more remaining and he was like you know sometimes you don't get them so he was like he advised me take up one of your feeling fresh deodorant so you all know sometime before he bought like six for me so I had a lot of them and I think I have like two or three remaining so he was like pick it up I was like you know what let me listen so I picked up the um feeling fresh deodorant this is my deodorant I don't buy nothing else that's what I like and then Dario picked up the arm and hammer ultra max cool blast um, deodorant mm, smells good so yeah so yeah this is it arm and hammer it's focusing on something that is not this right so yeah Next, um, we picked up the Reach toothbrushes. I always pick up this. Like anytime I'm repurchasing toothbrushes, it does always be the Reach and the Soft. I spoke about this during the vlog that I had his whole concept with the hard one is for this, the medium one is for growth or something. I can't remember, but we we purchased the Soft one, and it's always this one. If we don't get this one, we might buy the one. It's Reach as well and has like a kind of glitter thing. Yeah. Then next. We purchased um, this white rain Epsom salt and it's for soothing release of aches and soreness, sport formula, calming and rejuvenating. Um, I don't know if this has like a specific ingredient, but honestly, we purchased this to do like, um, yeah, 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 soak. We really bought it to do like foot soaks, one, and two, um, my mom was seeing this kind of thing where you mix Epsom salt, a certain amount of Epsom salt and water, and you spray your hospital to prevent mosquitoes. She was like, she had a fine body video to get the exact measurements, so I really don't know. Um, but we purchased this one nevertheless, the white rain brand of Epsom salt. And this is what it looks like. So then next I had to repurchase my um I my brow blades. So I got this one is from the brand. I always get confused because the O looks like a Q. So I don't know if it's looks or L Q Q K S. Like I I'm look at this all. Like I'm always so confused because it looks like it looks like a Q, but what what is that? So anyhow, this brand of eyebrow blades I've never purchased it before and like there was a brand that I was like okay let me try something different and it was way too sharp like that one was way too sharp and I don't even remember the brand so I'm very specific I have to watch it properly to see if I would like it or not and this one looks just like the color I think so I think we should be good with this one so I got this um I don't go by a professional to do my eyebrows like I literally just clean it for myself when it's going back if I'm going somewhere like for my wedding I went by her bottle and that like I just do it for myself because it's not as serious then Dario um purchased this old spice timber with sandalwood deodorant so he purchased two different um two different ones old spice and almond hammer so this is the old spice and finally, now this is not really fun. As I said, like we purchased this a while back. What happened, Ariel? Nothing. Oh, we purchased these things a while back, and so we've been using for we've been using stuff. So like I purchased the white cross therapeutic rubber that inside and I'm going inside to bring it out. I've always like show you all it in in holes, but yeah, that's inside because I use it already. So finally, and we also bought toothpaste, but we're using the toothpaste already as well. Like that's the thing when you do the holes late now, but you don't get to see everything. But 
purchased the VNS peppermint oil. I love to use this in my vaporizer. So I just put like a little drip of it. Um, or sometimes like if I have a headache or something, I might rub my temple with it um, and stuff. So yeah, I just purchased the small one and that is literally all guys. That is all for this Pennywise haul for you all. As I told you all, it's not a huge haul, especially because I already started using some of the stuff that I bought in the haul because I took like over a week before um, I filmed this haul. So, yeah, I'm sorry you all, but life for the last few weeks was life in, which is why you all didn't get a vlog last Sunday. So, now I need to try to get back to being consistent because just tired you finally now trying to catch myself and then like after my concert i felt like i was getting sick like my throat it wasn't sore but pain and like my throat was paining and like i was very very exhausted it was tough you were like the last few weeks was tough like mentally and physically so i'm finally getting um a little break and i'm so thankful for it this week i try to take it easy try to catch back myself but i'm still not feeling 100 percent um but that was like maybe you just need to leave your house i'm gonna leave get some sun because i left home last night but i was in the night so it had no sun so i'm gonna leave get some sun some sun, and try to see like if i would like get back to how i was before my orchestra's workshop because for some reason I don't know if it's because I get older but I used to do this all the time and I was good but then again no this this workshop was really like for everybody it was tough like we had two different concerts basically so I didn't vlog it so I'm just giving you a, like a little update but thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like share comment subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys very soon in my next vlog later